Welcome to the awesome abode of the Pope Gauntlet. It's time to play Mana Burn. A deck that does not have a sideboard plan. So we have to improvise. Playing against Volvegam. And I don't have any lands. That's no good. Let's mulligan. Uh, can't keep that either, can I? Keeping this. Not... Not a very good hand. Let's see if we can salvage this. Dark Steel Citadel. If I can resolve that Tusker, I'm a little bit happier. Or cycle it, I mean. Prism. Land. No land. So it looks like we could get stuck on two mana. For an affinity deck, very little is happening. Uh, Golem Foundry. Okay. The plot thickens. Land, land, one time. And this time is the one time, yes. So I'll guess we'll... Uh, Cycle the Tusker now. Getting another mountain for the uh, Searing Blaze. But that feels wrong. Uh, yeah, we have to build domain. And we are instantly rewarded with the mountain anyway. Okay, three counters. Every three artifacts he gets a free f golem. So we have to start thinking about how to win, and the way to win is to burn him out. So let's play Exploding Borders here for... For 4 damage. Getting even more land. Uh, yes. For the swamp then. And we're gonna try to burn him out. We have plenty of damage in the hand. It's 3, 7, 11, 14. Uh, the life staff is, of course, a giganormous problem. But he needs a sacrifice outlet. Uh, there is a lot of creatures now. And a lot of power. I won't have time to kill him before this. Before he kills me. Wow. His deck is working. He will do 10 damage next turn. Well, 
I'll try to blaze one. Target player, target creature. He let me do it instead. It's it not an artifact. Why didn't you render it? it? But now I will regret not getting red mana. And I will get overrun by golems. Lots and lots of golems. An enormous amount of golems. And now I can't even searing blaze. But it's not lethal, is it? It is lethal. No, he needs to play another. There is... Why is he not using the welding yard? Now I bought another turn. And he doesn't make the golem. So what do I do now? What's the most man efficient way to do 10 damage? Even if I find the red man, I'll bolt, stagger shock, fire bolt. That's just seven. Yeah, I am dead next turn. So if I find the red mana, I can do eight, but not more than that. So even with the red man, I'm just dead. Wow, his deck looks really good. <laughs> if I find an exploding borders, it comes into play tapped. Yeah, that doesn't work. So, uh, and I can't stop 7 damage, so I just die. So let's see what kind of artifact hate I have. Missionary's electric scred, curse of the pierced hard. I have two naturalize. And the thunder. Well, I'm gonna need all three of them. And I'll probably just side without Captured Sunlight. Because that card is just bad. And then we try to win. Mana burn. Not up for elimination because we're still in round one. And round one and two are double elimination. So um, we have one more chance in round two. I want this deck to work, but the more I play it, it did work the first time I did play it. But now I just feel is. Um, of course, I mulligan twice, and I will have to mulligan again. All right. Naturalize does protect us against enchantments, but I would have preferred Ancient Grudge. Could have put me ahead. He also mulligans. We are 6-6. Six, six. Can I defeat the evil golem deck? Should I play the evolving wilds, of course. For red.
But now, oh, it's indestructible. That's a bother. So we get a second chance to play the Evolving Wilds for red. Would love to hit that Ancient then. And I think that's what we're doing. Hoping that is enough. Mountain. I don't know why people have stops in my upkeep. It just seems like a way to slow everything down. Do we still have sound? Yes, we do. Good. Okay, he's thinking really hard. He can do nothing in upkeep, but he wants to think about it. Uh, now I'm gonna play the planes so I can fireball to frogmite and naturalize the ancient den. Will achieve domain. But then I still won't be able to kill him. Yeah, cycle the Fasker. Getting something we don't have. Swamp. And then we're getting the island with the... Ooh, now I have 15 damage. My plan worked a bit too well. Uh, that was incredibly lucky. So now we're just getting red mana with the exploding borders. Wow, but there's still hope. Do you agree with the cyborg plan? Curse. Screds look pretty good. Over what? Yeah, what can I take out here? Stagger shock didn't hit a lot, so maybe it's stagger shock. Let's try that. Okay, maybe we don't mulligan this time. Yeah, I think I have to keep this. He does mulligan. But I can't naturalize and I can't cast the presence. I really need green here. But I do have plenty of ways of finding green. I have five forests, eight uh, sacklands. Well, that's about all I have. He's trying to build into something. Forest. No forest. Plenty of removal though. There's the foundry. And he has four cards in hands. But I find the forest. I have to kill the foundry, right? But I do I have to kill it this turn? I might have to kill it this turn. I, I'm just gonna kill it. Play Presence next turn. I 
don't have a way to deal with the mirror forcer. And he can now cast it for free. There it is. Oh, I have the tribal flames. Um, I'm just gonna tribal flames the mirror forcer. Cause he will do way too much damage. How much damage to the face can I do? I can do five. It's way too slow, isn't it? So I have to kill it. Then try to cycle Tusker. He only has three cards. And no great threat yet. Curious capsule. And a foundry. Only one card left. So we cycle the Tusker. Get a planes. Play it. Play uh, the presence. That is six damage. So now we probably should be going to the face. Yes. Time to start hitting the face of my poor enemy. Will it be fast enough? Tribal Flame Stagger Shock seems like a good way to start for 9. And then Searing Blaze, Searing Blaze 15, Thunder win. I need to draw one more land. Race to the face. Uh oh. And then he gets a three turn clock. So the question is how fast can I kill? Wow, this is hard. Nine in one turn. And then bolt, firebolt. I kill in three turns. But then he will have... I do damage, he do damage, I do damage, he do damage. He won't be able to kill me with this. I can safely go to the face. And there's no need to do it on his turn, on my own turn. Of course. Hydroblast will be horrible. I probably need to draw a mountain, right? That's not good. But it doesn't really speed up his clock, does it? It does. Nine. 
Damn, he will have 13. Okay, that changes everything. Now I can't kill him in time. There's no way I can do it. So I have to kill. If I draw a tribal flames. I have it 11. No, I can't kill him. I thought I checked if it was an instant, but uh, apparently I didn't. Rebound. A mirror forcer. Throw a land or no. Um. Oh. For red. And place like that. And then a firebolt to the face. And then tribal flame searing blaze. Next turn. What the hell is that? And then the recycled thunder will actually be able to kill him. But I can't do it. Play the mountain. Oh, he has another golem as well. Kill the golem. And now I have the tribal flames. The mirror enforcer. Because otherwise I'm just dead. Got them at 10. I have a firebolt in the graveyard. Seven mana. So I can't even cycle into a flames. Well, it didn't make the golem. Hmm. I'm sure I misplayed this somewhere along the line. Yeah, so if he just casts an artifact now, 
I died. Yeah. Do I kill the golem here? Or is there any hope? I need to cycle into 4 damage. It cost 8. There is no way, so I have to kill the golem. He still has 5 cards in his hand. I wonder what those cards are. Why didn't he go for the kill there? Oh, that works. And I lose to the Golem Foundry deck. If you see mistakes, tell me the minute and second. But Mana Burn has lost. Thank you for watching.